For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, a true duopoly, but Russia's MC-21 is a bold attempt to break that grip. This isn't just another airplane, it's a declaration of independence. After 2022, Western sanctions crippled Russia's access to spare parts for Boeing and Airbus jets, grounding fleets and threatening to disconnect the country. The MC-21 project shifted from a strategic goal to a national necessity. At its core is the PD-14, Russia's first all-new commercial jet engine since the Soviet era. Developing a modern jet engine is one of engineering's toughest feats, but Russia saw it as essential for survival and pride. The MC-21 isn't just a competitor, it's a symbol of resilience and a fundamental shift in global aerospace. It's about a nation leveraging its engineering legacy to solve a modern crisis. The journey from blueprint to flight has been full of setbacks, but the goal is clear. Control your own destiny. The MC-21 is more than a plane, it's Russia's answer to being cut off from the world. It's a machine born from defiance, built to keep a nation moving. In a world where supply chains can vanish overnight, the MC-21 is Russia's bet on itself. This is what it takes to outsmart the odds and build something that truly matters. The MC-21 set out to challenge the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, aircraft that carry billions of passengers worldwide. Its edge, a wider fuselage for more comfort and advanced composite wings for better efficiency. The goal, beat the giants at their own game with smarter design and lower costs. Initially, the MC-21 relied on Western engines and components, a common practice in global aviation. This allowed Russia to focus on the airframe while using proven parts. But as geopolitics shifted reliance on foreign suppliers became a critical vulnerability. Sanctions cut off access to key systems threatening the entire project. Russia faced a stark choice, abandon the MC-21 or build it entirely at home. The result was a radical pivot, turning the MC-21 into a symbol of national self-reliance. The mission changed from global competition to survival and sovereignty. The MC-21 became more than a plane. It became a statement of independence. Russia was determined to finish what it started, no matter the cost. When Western parts vanished, many thought the MC-21 was doomed. Instead, Russia doubled down, transforming the project into a quest for technological sovereignty. Every foreign component had to be replaced with a Russian equivalent, a massive industrial challenge. The PD-14 engine once a backup, became the centerpiece. Engineers reworked the airframe to fit the new engine, creating the MC-21-310. Avionics landing gear and even composite materials for the wings were resourced or developed domestically. Rostec led a nationwide push to build a self-sufficient aerospace industry. By late 2025, only a few minor systems remained foreign-made, with replacements underway. This shift caused delays but gave Russia control over its aviation future. The MC-21-310 is now a testament to necessity-driven innovation. Russia is no longer at the mercy of foreign politics for its civil aviation. The project proved that, when forced, a nation can reinvent its entire industrial base. It's a slower, harder path, but it's Russia's path now. The PD-14 engine is a clean-sheet high-bypass turbofan, Russia's answer to the world's best. Designed by Aviat Vigatel and built by United Engine Corporation, it uses advanced materials like single crystal turbine blades and composites. The PD-14 runs hotter and more efficiently, squeezing more power from every drop of fuel. Unlike some Western engines, it opts for a simpler, more reliable direct drive design. The focus ruggedness, ease of maintenance, and lower lifetime costs. This philosophy aims to avoid the teething problems seen in some Western engines. For Russian airlines, reliability and serviceability are crucial advantages. The PD-14 isn't just for the MC-21, it's a platform for future Russian aircraft. By developing and certifying the PD-14, Russia re-enters the elite club of advanced engine makers. It's a technological leap that secures Russia's aerospace future. The PD-14 is more than an engine, it's a foundation for a new era. Russian engineering is back on the world stage, on its own terms. The all-Russian MC-21-310 faces tough competition from the Airbus A322neo and Boeing 737 MAX. Its range, about 3,130 kilometers, is shorter than its western rivals, limiting it mostly to domestic and regional routes. The reason? Heavier Russian-made components, including the PD-14 and new composite wings. The MC-21's maximum takeoff weight is less than the A321neo, but it carries that weight with less range. However, the MC-21 stands out in passenger comfort. Its cabin is wider, offering more space and larger windows, a real advantage for travelers. For Russia's vast territory, this comfort on shorter flights is a key selling point. The MC-21 may not win on paper specs, but it's built for Russia's needs, rugged, reliable, and serviceable, without foreign help. Its primary customer is Russia's domestic airline industry, which needs new aircraft now. 
The MC21 is a perfect fit for this market. It's not about being the best globally. It's about being the right plane for Russia. In a world of trade-offs, the MC21 delivers where it matters most at home. It's a sovereign solution for a nation determined to fly on its own terms. Building a new plane is hard, mass producing it is even harder. The switch to all Russian components reset the clock, causing delays and production slowdowns. As of August 2025, only one of 15 planned jets had been delivered, a sign of the challenge. The reduced range is a trade-off for independence, but the MC-21-310 remains capable for most Russian routes. Despite setbacks, momentum is building. First customer deliveries are targeted for late 2026, with certification flights underway. Rostec aims to ramp up to 36 aircraft per year by 2030. Aeroflot's massive order, 198 jets, guarantees stable demand and keeps factories busy. The MC-21 is too important to fail. Government and industry commitment is absolute. Every successful test flight brings the project closer to reality. The climb is steep, but the summit is in sight. Russia is determined to get these planes flying, no matter the obstacles. The MC-21's journey is a testament to persistence and national resolve. In 2025 the MC-21-310 hit milestone after milestone, certification flights, new prototypes and crucial data gathering. Each test flight is a symbol of progress and a step toward commercial service. Full certification is targeted for summer 2026, opening the door for airlines, like Aeroflot. Engineers are rigorously testing Russian-made wings, engines and avionics to ensure reliability. The MC-21 and PD-14 are more than crisis solutions, they're the foundation of Russia's aviation future. This project has revived skills and industries, creating jobs and inspiring a new generation of engineers. The lessons learned will shape future Russian aircraft for years to come. Ultimately, the MC-21 is about taking control of destiny through innovation and self-reliance. It's not the world's best on every metric, but it's the most important plane for Russia today. As the first passengers board, they'll be flying on a symbol of national resilience. The MC-21 proves that even when the world tries to ground you, you can build your own wings. Russia's aviation industry is taking flight, on its own terms. The MC-21's journey is just beginning, and the world is watching.